Here we go, sculpture class. Um, it is good to see everybody. Uh, I want to go over a couple of things. So first, it's the 13th. So seniors, um, I'm not going to start anything new for you the 15th. Uh, the last two things you're doing in sculpture class is finishing the paper mache. Only the paper mache construction. So you don't have to go beyond assembling all your pieces and making sure they're, they're, they're put together. Um, things I'm going to look for, you know, make sure there's no exposed tape. Um, make sure that it looks like all your pictures, the, your sculpture looks stable. Um, and that it's kind of like, you know, that it looks like you, you put the time and effort into it. Um, so anything past put together, all paper mache um, is bonus time for you guys. Next, if you don't have it done on the 15th, no big deal. Um, on the 15th, I'm going to take everything from before paper mache that isn't turned in, and I'll mark them. I'll mark those zeros. But I will give you guys till the twentieth, so that's next Wednesday, to turn in anything. Um, if you look at your grades and something doesn't like look right to you, you know, email me and let me know. Um, or if you've turned something in and I didn't mark it as turned in or I don't find it, um, because it seems like sometimes Google Classroom send most of the time it sends me a notification when you guys put stuff in, but there's a couple of times where it just either I missed the notification or it doesn't send it to me. Um, so if something's missing, let me know, um, but I'll go back through and double check all those. And if you want to, you know, um, you can send me some information and we'll talk back and forth if, if something seems out of kilter. Uh, but on the 20th, I will take, if the, if the um, sculpture hasn't been turned in, the paper mache, and if you haven't turned in your um, portfolio, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, then on the 20th, I will um, put those down as zeros. And then, um, because on the 21st, I have to, um, I'm in with the graduation committee group um, to go over how the day is gonna go for graduation. Uh, and I'll see counselors on the 21st. Um, so I'll have a list of students if there's anybody who I, I'm worried about not passing. Um, so that's why the 20th is, is that date there. <laughs> Rubber chicken toys are good. Um, so uh, what, is the, what is the portfolio? Portfolio is really, really, really simple. All I want you to do is take all your pictures um, uh, that you've done over the trimester. So think of uh, the first stuff uh, we did um, the paper sculpture in class, we started soap carving in class, and then you guys finished it out of class, and then we did from that forward. Um, so any pictures of those items um, put together in your portfolio, um, give me a paragraph about what you learned on each thing. So if you have multiple pictures, you can put it on one slide, you don't have to spread them out, but you can if you want. Um, I'm not grading it on aesthetics, I just, I want the um, sculptures. I will be posting today, so I'm still waiting to hear back from administration about when to drop off tools, and um, I'll post that today, when, they, when and where to drop off any art supplies you have left over. And I'll also post today the uh, evaluation sheet for uh, evaluating me about online learning. And then um, part of that, each, so I'm going to use the same evaluation kind of premise for each class, um, but I'll have at the bottom, you know, uh, what would have made this class better. So for specifics, so like Cole's in multiple classes, so he's going to have to, Kylie's in multiple classes, um, Carson's in multiple classes, they're going to have to uh, tell me, um, so take it class by class basis. I'm not going to make it super hard. Um, it's, it's not meant to be hard. It's meant to just be a calm accumulation, blah, accumulation of what you've done. Um, um, I'll get all those questions in a second because there's some good ones over there. So uh, that's where we are seniors. Anybody who's not a senior, 
so a couple of you. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is on the um, on the 18th, I'm going to talk about our last project, and our last project is going to deal with um, kind of a museum. Um, I'm going to have you do a scavenger hunt, maybe. Um, I have to go back through and see because uh, last time I was at the museum website, I was having a hard time finding um, the images the way I want to find them. So I have to go back through and make sure I can do it. And then if I can, um, I'll probably say like, you know, we have, we have a sculpture by this artist. Where is it located? Or if you look in this section, if you were at the museum and you looked at these sections, you could see what are the following sculptures. Um, because we have an outside sculpture garden, which is really kind of nice. Um, I'm not saying you have to go to the museum because I want to make sure you can do it from your computer online. And if you can't, I'll modify it. And then finally, um, I'd like you to look into the artist's collection that we have and find a sculptor that you like their work because we actually, our sculpture collection has grown a great deal over the last 10 years. Um, so we have external sculptures, we have internal sculptures, um, things that can be exposed to elements and, and have wear and things that they have to keep inside the museum for, for safety and, pre and preserving it. So that's, that's going to be our last one. It's going to be a, an art history research kind of um, because I'm going to have you find out a sculpture, um, who did it, and some basic information about it, and then maybe do a little scavenger hunt. And that'll be our last thing that you guys do. And I'd like you guys to include that in your portfolio. So seniors portfolio by the 20th, and though it says the 20th for everybody, everybody else has the 27th, so non-seniors, um, have until the 27th to get everything turned in. So that'll be the paper mache project and um, the museum trip that, that we're gonna do. So, so that's that chunk of information. Um, I, real, I didn't realize I hadn't uh, hook, hook up, uh, hooked up some of the videos. So yesterday, all of our videos are up to date now. Um, Monday, we'll be going forward. Um, and basically, if you have some, like, if you need some help or if you, um, if you need some help or if you've got some like you, you show me your sculpture and you're having problems that's what monday will be monday will be troubleshooting so we'll, we'll do a recording for the introduction and then i don't know if we're going to record troubleshooting if it's a i'll probably pause the recording a lot um just so like if somebody has something specific like hey how do i put this arm into my body um it's not fitting right or or my i've got all my parts together but they keep coming apart what do i do those things I'll record in case anybody else is having that issue. Um, but if it's, you know, otherwise we're not going to mess with those things. Um, so questions over here. Uh, <laughs> I still say rubber chickens are cool. <laughs> if your sculpture looks like a rubber chicken, well, congratulations. Um, uh, just sculpture pictures. Um, so if you're somebody who already has an art portfolio and you and you are thinking of majoring or minoring in art and you want to add to your portfolio that's cool um uh you can update your artist statement uh you don't have to that's up to you guys um but and i'll look at that but the main thing i'm going to look for is just what we did in sculpture um so if you want to if you do have that and you just want to make like a slide that says corona sculpture um, then you can, and I'll, and I'll look through everything to that point. Okay. Um, if you want to give your teachers a senior picture, who, oh, um, I can tell you, okay, so there's two big things that have gone on in the last 72 hours. Um, Monday, we were, teach, teachers were allowed in on a um, small group basis. So like when I was there, um, I only saw three other teachers. That was it. Um, and of course, Mr. Bryson and Mr. Rupp were both there. Um, and Mr. Bentledge was in for tech. He was doing some tech stuff. And then uh, custodian and maintenance people are in uh, doing sealing and cleaning work. So sealing up rooms and clean, cleaning them and then sealing up rooms. Um, so, and with that, they said, you need to be out by this time. 
I had to write down every place that I went and I'm not, I'm not allowed back in the building. Um, and on the 21st, I don't even know if I'm allowed in the building. I think, I don't know where we're meeting at, but I don't know if I'm allowed in the building. Um, and the other big thing is, my wife just told me this morning that they've had problems in um, states uh, for children who have, con who have uh, contracted corona um, and it's affecting them differently. So they, they go through it, um, their body fights off the corona, uh, but when it's gone, their body then turns in on itself and starts to, it's immune, their immune systems are attacking themselves. So um, with that happening, and I don't know the age groups, um, the story just, I don't know if it just came out this morning or last night, I just heard about it this morning. Um, I think that they're gonna be very cautious to have students um, anywhere near each other to just knock down transmission and to make sure that students are safe. So if you wanted to give teachers a picture, you could bring an envelope in um, and you could just uh, have, just put a note on the outside, um, please, put, please put one picture in each teacher's mailbox and you could drop it off the high school. And then um, if Miss Kiefer's in, or if one of the people that they have working, they'll have them put the pictures in the mailboxes. Um, you could at senior graduation, um, when you get dropped off, you could, um, I'll be there. Um, you could hand me the same thing, an envelope with names on it, and I'll set it aside. And then after the ceremony, um, I will go in and put them in teachers' mailboxes if you can't get in before that. I don't think they're letting us in like the little lobby area because when I went to go pick up my graduation stuff on Monday the 11th, um, that it was blocked. Yes. So I know they pulled all the dropout stuff, all the drop off stuff out of the lobby. Um, because, um, so like anybody who has new things, there's very few new stuff being passed out this week. So. The, um, is this like, wait, is this changing the email that he sent out yesterday where seniors have a drop off date, juniors, sophomores, freshmen? That I have not read that email yet. I saw it last night and, um, uh, blah. Um, I have not read, I haven't read the email yet, so I can't say. Um, I just got a thing from Mr. Uh, Bryson and it says, uh, Mrs. Drinkwater is working. So, uh, she's going to keep the bin in her office. So as soon as you guys are done with supplies, um, make sure you either use like a, a Clorox wipe or a wipe or spray it with Lysol, put them in a bag, either a plastic bag or a paper bag. Um, so like, you know, plastic bag from a grocery store. Um, put that, put your name on a piece of paper and a list of the tools, put it in the bag, bring it in and Mrs. Drinkwater will take it. And if she's working, um, Kaya, you could do the same thing if you want to like sign the back of senior um, pictures. By the way, as a teacher, I like messages on the back of pictures. I'm um, not that I'm getting one, but I'm going to say for any teacher in general because that way it's just something that, you know, when we're old and start to forget things, we can always look back and see what you guys thought of thought. But you can do that and you can drop it off to Miss Drinkwater. And Kaya, um, did you pick up your art stuff? So, Mr. Rep, give me a box of, like, all the small stuff, but I have one that I actually wanted, <laughs> um, the abstract one that we did. It's, like, huge. It's got all the colors on it and, like, the, the, the palette. Sure. Is that, is that the one you're talking about? Wait, no. No, Oops. not the palette with the, uh, the turtle. It's got the girl with no face. Send me a picture, and I'll, go, and I'll see if I can go look for it. Or if I know okay, where it is. Okay, I don't know. Um, do you know where it is? I usually put it in the office, and I think it was in front of, like, the big, long table in front of the um, uh, advanced space. Yeah. Um, all right. Do you, have a, do you have a picture? I'll probably go diving in uh, old portfolios to find it. Okay, because um, if not, because again, 
I don't know when they're going to let me back in the building, but I can send them a picture and say, hey, look here or look here. Because um, I know, um, but I don't have a good way to get a hold of Lainey. I have Lainey's big window that she painted in my office. Um, and I had a couple of small odds and ends for other people. Um, so um, if you let me know, I can say, hey, go check here, check here. Or I can do, um, I think I can get, uh, Mr. Cantu can still get into buildings um, and I can do like FaceTime with him and I can say, hey, we walk through my room and look and see and, and we'll get it to you. If not, um, then I'll try to get in on graduation because uh, I'll try to get into my room before then and then pull it over to the side. And then when you come through for your graduation, I'll just be like, hey, put this in the car. Cool, cool. So since administration is there, like Ms. Kiefer or whatever, do you think if I call and be like, can I drop some things off, do you think they would meet me outside and like go do that? Um, what they'll do is they'll probably tell you to go right to Mrs. Drinkwater's window. Oh, okay. You can get into the little, so you know the little waiting lobby? Um, that was open yeah. Monday. And, um, but like most of the tables and stuff have been pulled out. They've got some benches in there still. Um, I think the last packets for the elementary were still in there, but most of the stuff that was in there has been pulled out. For the 21st is the, when you guys talk about graduation stuff, are you also going to talk about the possibility of rain? Yes. Okay, because my mom was curious about that. Um, they'll probably just tell me, here's an umbrella. Um, or they may okay. not even give me an umbrella. Um, the, uh, we're going to talk about that. We're going to do a walk. We're going to do a walkthrough of what we think and uh, what um, is going to happen. Um, and then from there, uh, we'll probably do a modification if we need to. Um, or if there's been any changes, which uh, there's been a couple changes. Um, I, I don't think that, so again, I have to look at Mr. Giha's letter. I did the paperwork this morning and I didn't get to reading that. Um, so I have to check through that and see, but we should have everything. We're, we're I mean, it's not going to change much. Um, Cause again, our, one, we don't have a ton of people there. Um, Cause I don't even think, I don't even know if they're going to let the teachers because there, there was talk about maybe teachers sitting in the bleachers or something, but I think they're not going to have teachers there at all. Um, I do know that we're going to have a, a drone that's going to be kind of doing some imagery above. Um, we'll have photography sit, station set up. Um, the board will be there. Uh, the high school administration will be there. Um, the district administration will be there grooms and i will be there um and i'm not sure whom else oh counselors will be there but counselors will probably be in the radio station um so i don't know if you'll get to really see your counselor um because they'll be they'll be in there doing announcing work and, and all that um everything will be broadcast over the uh radio station and that's all I know, that's all I remember for sure. And then we'll go over contingency, what if it rains? Um, the what if it rains, I would envision, I'm not gonna say, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I have an idea of what I think and what I think um, sometimes comes true and sometimes is vastly different like than what other people think. Say that again. Like how you thought we weren't going to be in quarantine? Well, yeah, I, I, I really didn't think that. Um, really didn't think that. So, uh, so uh, as far as sculpture goes, seniors, soft deadline Friday um, with some grades going in, and then Wednesday will be the big grade day. Um, if I think on Friday, if I'm worried about your grade, I'm going to email you and say, hey, um, hey, Carson, I, I, I don't see this. Um, 
and I'm worried about your grade and you'll get an email. Otherwise, you should be golden. And it, right now, if you're here, you know, if you're here or if you're a person who's watching this later because of other things that are going on and you've been turning in work, you're, you're good to go. Um, everybody else who's not a senior, we're gonna do um, the 22nd is your soft turn in and the 27th. The 27th will be a hard turn in for everything because on the 27th, um, I will start crunching down grade numbers and I will start turning in paperwork um, the 28th and 29th um, to let counselors know if anybody's in, is in dire trouble. Cool, cool, cool. I have an art question. Yeah, what's that? Can I just put the rest of my paste in a giant jug of water? Why would you do that? Because it seals. It says airtight seal. So you're going to take the art paste and put it in a jug of water? The mache, the, the powder. Oh, um, you, you could. Um, the, the part is, the part that's going to be tough is, okay, so I'm thinking of a jug is um, getting it back out of the jug. You know, if you can get your hand in there to, to when you want to clean it, that's fine. Um, if, if you don't think you're going to need the paste, then leave it in the bag and just return to me the paste, the bag. It's not a reusable jug. It's like a throwaway jug. You just add water. No. <laughs> like I have a, like a, um, like a big, pre like a Perlacki has in the back of his room. He has those big pretzel jugs sometimes. Oh, not one of those jugs. Just like a jug of water. Like they get like Kroger. You know? Kinda. Oh. I don't know. Well, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Because it's easy, I guess. Uh -huh. I don't know. How are you gonna get the mache out? You pour it. I don't know if it's gonna work that well. I don't know if it's gonna stir it up that well. You shake it. I, I would mix it in little shake bowls. Okay. Ding Little bowls easy to clean, easy to get the stuff to. Um, because, I mean, if you guys think of this as kind of liquidy jello, think of how, how easy would it be to pour jello out of that jug? Kaya said it's like boogers. I agree. Um, it's, I guess. It's absolutely, it's, no, it's gross. It's not the, it's not the worst thing in this world that you'll ever put you your hand in. But if you're not used to it and you just randomly put your hand in, like it kind of makes you gag. Like, you don't expect it. It's just like at Halloween, man. You take a make up a bowl of spaghetti and then you chill it, and then you uh, have you cover it in a bag and you have people put their hand in the bag and say, "Ooh, it's brains," and they think it's brains, but it's not. It's spaghetti. Never mind. It's tactilely different. I will say this, some people who are, um, uh, the one year I had uh, a student who's, um, who developmentally uh, had tactile issues. And, you know, those are, those are things that don't show up on normal reporting. Um, and it meant like um, he was in my ceramics class and every time he touched clay, it was, it was the same, uh, his feeling of touching clay was the same thing um, if I asked you guys to listen to, to someone scraping fingers across a chalkboard while you put your hand in, in fire. And, and that's the, that was the experience to him. Um, and nobody found out until um, his, uh, until, um, you know, I was talking with the parents and the parents said something to his doctor and the doctor went, oh yeah, he's tactile sensitive. He probably shouldn't touch things like that. Oh, that's nice to know. <laughs> So, but we got through it. I found, I found ways to help him. And it was only, um, it was only fresh clay that bothered him and it was, um, or slip bothered him or really dry clay. Like if the clay dried on his hands, um, it bugged him. So he was constantly like wiping and washing off his hands. So tactilely different. Um, 
anything else about sculpture stuff? 